just had a large shipment of cardboard come in, cardboard boxes, what we were waiting for so we could open the online store again. Still waiting. We've still got to sort this stuff on the floor here um, onto the racks, but we can't really do that until we got all the website stuff up and running because we're still not sure where a lot of this is going to go it's just, it's just been on the shelves just to get it out of the way we're going this is going to get sorted like today probably or tomorrow but the web store should be up tonight today which is wednesday for you guys so those are the extra thick cardboard boxes for if people order in bulk that's what we've been waiting for That noise makes me feel like my teeth's gonna fall out. That noise makes me feel like my teeth's gonna fall out. Yeah. It's horrible. I'm looking over your channel, man. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh, I can't see anything, girl. I'm not going to. Why? Now in the process of moving all of this stuff to the shelves again. Lily's gone home because there's not much further to do here because we're still doing the uh, books analog style or handwriting. It's amazing how much um, money or turnover I'm down by just by not having food on sale. It's um, quite shocking and worrying actually. Like if I didn't have this, I'd be fully bankrupt. If, during lockdown, I would have been able to stay afloat, for, I reckon, for eight weeks at most I open it and it really does make it more poignant and make me realize that you know this is definitely something I I should be doing I should be taking a massive hit on my margins to secure the future of Jang's really when if I did go bankrupt and everything went under I could then go full-time on YouTube the reason I can't go full-time on YouTube is because it doesn't pay me enough to pay my staff and my obligations so my rents and things like that I can't just walk away from them and I've got to find a way for me to be able to pay for them as well as everything else so that I can go full time. Until I can find someone who can manage this stuff and do it like I would do it, and I could afford to pay them to do it, then that's impossible. Weird, isn't it? Maybe I'm better off going bankrupt. <laughs> fuck that though, fuck that. Nearly done. Um, sweating, but I don't know if you can see how, yeah, you can probably just look at that sweat. <laughs> done. Very sweaty. Indeed, but now I've got sections. I've got sauces, sort of ligungi, and I wouldn't say Chinese, but I wouldn't say takeaway either. It's more like westernized, like in between westernized and traditional Chinese like sauces and stuff like that. And then I've got the section right over here, which is sheerly for traditional Chinese food like I think it's working out quite well really do think I need a bigger warehouse if I'm honest with you it's for what I need right now perfect but if I think it's gonna go well if I hope it's gonna go the way I want it to go within I'd say six to twelve months this will be not enough space I say that though twelve months time and I'll be like this big place is too big I can't afford it <laughs> classic me water the firefighter's friend also, someone sent me something and it's from Andy. No idea what it is. It feels like it could be an action figure. So I'm going to take you to the office and open it up. Oh, and show you the office now. Right, so you remember it before you just come up the stairs into the office. And there we go. Nice and so those are products that I'll be listing on the store. New ones. Well, I was taking photos. Sorry for the wet patch there. Work and stuff. Pass the parcel. Oh, it's the Vexta, Vest Vesta. Whatever they were, though, they're thoroughly crushed now. So, well done, postman. This one's not as bad. I'm gonna open one up and go camera now. Uh, there's a kit thing. Oh, I'm well excited to try this. I'm guessing one of them you deep fry to make the crispy ones on the top, and these you cook. This is the sauce mix, and that's obviously some sort of soy sauce. Yeah, soy sauce. That is actually pretty cool. Thank you very much for that. Here's a note. Hi Chin, finally closed two packs of Vesta chow mein for you to try. By no means does it re resemble anything you would buy from a takeaway, but I really like them. Could you give me your verdict on them? Also, if you have any ideas 
on if you know where I can buy similar crispy noodles on their own. Suggest cooking crispy noodles on medium to high heat, very quick on high, and then you'll need to continuously dunk them under the oil to make sure that they're... I'm, I'm gonna cook them like prawn crackers because I'm pretty sure that's the exact same method. So as hot as I possibly can go, and it should only take 10 seconds to start the reaction and then yeah, like you said, you continuously hold them down, just like a prawn cracker, because we do like vegan, we call them vegan prawn crackers, but we actually just use dried out whole fan, and it's the exact same thing as this. But yeah, thank you for the advice on the letter, thank you. Oh, and the uh, noodles. <laughs> Pokemon! I don't know why I bought this, it was like one ninety nine from the range online, and it just came with like pencils and stuff, I just thought, fuck it, I'll buy it anyway. Absolutely useless. Everything that came with it is just tat. So I've just been looking at how you get your silver play button. And it's, I'll, I'll read it out to you. Creators are given uh, a YouTube sole discretion. We only recognize creators that have played by the rules. Channels are subject to review before awards are issued. This means rewarding creators that keep their accounts in good standing, which we'd have, without any copy strikes, which we have. Community guideline violations, we haven't done any of those. Or artificially increased subscriber count, which we haven't ever done. So um, we haven't even paid for views, which most large channels do which is fully legit, you do that through Google AdWords and um, they just literally put you up as a sponsored video. So that's what I mean by paid by views. We haven't paid for sponsorship. And then it says, to claim your award, if your channel's eligible, if your channel eligible, if your channel eligible, if your channel eligibility is approved, you'll get a notification on your creator's studio within one week of passing a creator's awards milestone. It's now been one week and we I haven't had anything. So I don't think we're gonna get a silver play button and I don't know why, MSG probably, but it's a bit like, well. Okay, so let's say, it says within one week. So let's say, give it two more days, just in case it took, the first day doesn't count and the last day it doesn't count. So, but yeah, it looks, looks like we might not get our play button. Bit of fucking shit. I get it if this channel didn't get a fucking play button because I fucking swear all the time. But the main channel, fuck. What was that anyway? I'm not, I'm not saying we're definitely not getting it. It just looks like, by what they're saying, I should have had one already and I haven't. Crisping up some peck. If you don't have peck, you use spam. I'm just gonna throw this into some Maggie's curry soup noodles. And I'm gonna make some, like a scrambled egg as well with it. Just put it on the top. I've actually taken the noodles out because I want to reduce this down a little bit. And I don't want the noodles to overcook. You need to really render the fat, like, the fat out of all of this. Nice and crispy. Put the spring onions in now. Just threw some salt and MSG in here. That's rendered down nicely. And there's the finished thing. Food. Mm -mm. Thought I'd give the Festax noodles a try. It smells like dehydrated peppers, so I'm guessing there's quite a lot of peppers in this. It takes 25 minutes, which is longer than I thought something from a packet would take, and the instructions are not clear. I think that's because I understand chow mein as a finished dish. In Chinese, it literally just means fried noodles. It says empty the chow mein to a saucepan, stir, so in my head, that means all of this, but it's not. They should have said the packet. They should have said the sauce mix. Anyway, so I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna try it. I think me and Lily will try it for you. I don't know if she will, because she's a bit weird like that. She goes, mm, I don't want to try it. Five minutes later, mm. I can't fucking hear you. Oh, she can fucking hear me. What are you doing? Are you okay? <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> back to what I, was, what I started recording and I just heard that screaming. Um, yeah, it's got a lot of red peppers in. I can't even have private time in my own home anymore. No. The instructions call me to stir this for five minutes. Andy, this better be fucking good. <laughs> because I'll, I've been here 20 seconds and I'm already bored as fuck. Five minutes, this can't be right. It literally just says, continuously stir for five minutes. Also, I tend to do a lot of things on camera left-handed. I'm actually right-handed, but for some reason, it, I can use both hands. I don't know why. I really hope this is good, because I like stuff like this. Well, you guys know I love junk food. So I'm really hoping, as, if this is as good as a pot noodle, 
then I'm gonna enjoy it. I don't know if I wanna go through all these lengths again. Sorry, I forgot to stir. Stirring. I suppose it's nostalgia for a lot of you out there. I've never seen these noodles in my life. <laughs> yeah. As I thought, they're exactly like um, prawn crackers. So the hottest heat you possibly can get. These literally took me nine seconds and that's it. Move up a little bit better. So we thought we'd try, mm. that was weird. Try these vest out. I'll try the noodle stuff first with the sauce. Don't say anything. Thoughts? Hmm. If you like peppers, you'll enjoy it. Have you added anything to it? No. It's very bland. Yeah. Um. It tastes like knockoff pot noodle. Like that weird, like sort of slightly off-coloured outer packaging you'd get from like Poundland. You know it's not going to be great, but you get it anyway. The um, the crispy noodles things are actually quite satisfying with the sauce. The crispies are good. They're really salty and delicious. I'm sure I might have to call the oil with the chicken in it though. You, well possibly. Because that was old oil. Yeah. Also it came with a sachet of soy sauce that was sprinkled over it. That's why some of it looks dark. Mm. It's not bad. It's like, I wasn't expecting a chow mein flavour because no. you had said there's nothing like chow mein. I was expecting it to be, be more delicious though. Yeah, it's very, um, the, the toppers really overpower it, don't they? Yeah. I'm almost to the point where I'm just going to put some salt on. Just, yeah, really bland. The salt is quite nice, but it's very muscle foodish. <laughs> I'm really fucking loving these crispy bits, mm. though. They're amazing. Mm -hmm. I would buy it again for the crispy bits, if I'm honest. Well, I didn't buy these ones, you did. But well, thank you for that, Andy. You've um, opened our eyes to the crispy. Mm. Thank you. Let's do this one. The noodles themselves are a bit like yeah, I think probably the reason why a lot of people like this so much is definitely nostalgia. Why? Is that what Charmaine used to taste like? No, but this apparently these were a big thing back in the day. Oh, okay. So I can think if I had pot noodle now, and never had a pot noodle before, I'd be like, what the fuck is this? It's not shin cup, it's disgusting. But because yeah, I grew but, up with it. But pot noodles aren't pretending to be shin cups, aren't they? They're pot noodles. That's trying to be a chow mein. Yeah, but even if someone just said it's packet noodle or packet spaghetti. No, it's okay, you can have it. There's actually quite a lot here. There's a lot in there, yeah. How much was this? Two pound? I mean, if I was going camping, this would actually be all right. At least the stirring would sit, um, take up some of your time. Yeah. Time and doing nothing. Yeah. You seem to be quite enjoying that now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's because I just put a load of salt on it. Yeah, it's not. It's not disgusting. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't voluntarily buy one though. I wouldn't buy one there. But it was nice for the experience yeah. to try that because a lot of people have pointed them out to us before. Thank you. Yeah. So thank you very much. And um, but out of ten, I'd give that a three. So that's a lie. I've given some muscle food stuff. I'd rather this over the muscle food. I would definitely give those crispy, crispy things a like a ten. They were just salty crisps. Yeah. And they were delicious. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to leave it there tonight, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. The web store is open. That's chinandchew.com. I'm slowly uploading new stock on there. There are some new products on there at the moment, but not as many as I'd liked. Um, yeah, there is a bit of a delay because of everything that's going on at the moment. Second, we put the website on for sale. We got flooded with orders of, of this moment. I haven't even sent out the email, marketing email to let people know it's open. That's just gone out to patrons of chinandchew.com. So yeah, thank you very much. Well, that reminds me, I need to send it out for you patrons out there as well, if any of you are interested. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. As always, stay safe. This is the way. Live long and fucking prosper. Stay classy, San Diego. Chin, Lydia, Vextax Charmaine, out. What was that noise? <laughs> you, like, mouth farted. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't be mean to me if your parcels are late.